some of the little support webbing that the program actually puts in to hold up this oddball shape. You know, so that, you, know, you can see where that sculpture is going to swoop up in the air like that. So it's making this little cribbage, if you will, to help hold that swoop as it goes up in the air. So all of that comes out. You know, when you first look at it, when it's all done, you'll go, ew, that's ugly. But now, nah, half of it you actually cut away. Oh, oh let's look over there. And this is one of my two Delta bot printers. And they're Delta bots because they've got the three different towers on them. So instead of like the XYZ of the uh, cube, this one actually thinks in triangles because of the triangular shape of it. And you can see how much faster this one is. And it's not even turned up as fast as it can possibly go. And it's got a heated bed. Instead of, like, you know, instead of like on the cube, the cube doesn't have a heated bed. Uh, so you can, run, uh, you can run different filaments on this one that need that extra heat to help hold things in place. Just really quick, really, really quick. I mean, you can crank this thing up, and it'll, it'll just fly. What are you making? I'm making a big goblet. You know, just you know, something to show the, the game when they get here. Just something to show the, the spirit of the senses people. So just, you know, a real nice shape, a real nice flow. It, it'll be waterproof. You, know, you can actually use it for something. It's not just a decoration. But it'll just be this big purple goblet. What else you have left? Oh, <laughs> yeah, let's go over there. So this one is Gigante. This is the big printer. Eight foot tall. It's got a 34 inch print tray and it will print about four and a half feet tall. But you can see how much slower this one is running compared to the, the little 250 we just looked at. Much, much slower. Mostly because of the length of the struts. The amount of mass is right here in the, in the platform itself. You really don't want to get it moving that fast because your print quality just goes so it's running at a nice speed. It's running at about uh, it's running at about 130 percent of maximum. You know, so if you left it set where the computer told it to be, it would be slower than this. But we can bump it up a little bit in order to get that nice smooth print quality out of it. That nice, you know, this nice even feels almost like a piece of glass. It's so smooth. So slow it down. You know, Mind your 
setting, it runs off this little tablet right here. Just a little itty bitty thing. Take the file from the computer, put it into the SD card that's in the brain up in the top, and then all your controls are just right there. So, you know, it basically stands alone. It doesn't need to have the computer hooked up to it in order to run. This one will wind up being about three feet, you know, 38 inches, right in that area somewhere. So it'll, this, may be, this may be a third done at this point. So it'll run into tomorrow sometime before this one finally finishes. What is it? It's just one of my sculptures. It, it's, a, it's a variation on one that I've done already. I, I, made it, I made it bigger. I made it wider. I made it just a little bit taller, different color. Now it, it's a PLA resin, so it's a cornstarch base instead of like the cube which is running ABS, which is a petroleum base. So the PLA, it's renewable, it's recyclable, it's biodegradable. You know, it's a good thing as opposed to using up oil, basically, to make the ABS stuff. So, oh, hey, wait a minute. So these are some of the little models that I've done, little maquettes that I've made. Designed in a computer, printed on the 250, uh, proof of concept kind of things. How do they look? Do they stand up? Are they proportional? And, oh yeah, they're for sale. You know, smaller pieces, uh, made by me, you know, but something that'll fit on the countertop, you know, fit in the bookcase, rather than a great big monster, you know, steel thing that you need to print and put in place. One of the other things that the 3D printer has allowed me to do is take some of my designs, you know, like this is, is a design that I did in steel, and shrink it down even farther and make jewelry, make earrings, and like necklaces and what have you. But of course, I don't do these here. You know, my machines are a little too big. The resolution on them is a little too low. So I have an off-site company that I just ship the files off to, and then they'll either print these, you know, like this one is just a resin printed piece that they did, or with the precious metals, they would actually do a they would print it in resin or wax and then take it next door and go to the foundry and just pour it to do a lost PLA casting and just make it that way. So there's your little sneak peek. You guys get to see it first. And they're not due for another couple hours yet. So hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.